Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is get a model, okay? So, I personally installed the funny, the, I installed Iron Man. Very good model, I like, yes. It doesn't matter uh, if it has a rig, it just has to be T-posing, okay? Cool. Okay, so after you downloaded your model, you wanna come to Thunder Store, uh, and you wanna download Asset Bundle SDK by this big fat nerd. I'll put the link in the description so it's easier to get here. So you wanna click Manual Download. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to open Unity up. So if you don't already have Unity installed, you're going to want to look up Unity Download List. Alright, so you got to find the download archive here, okay? So now once you're here, uh, you want to look for a specific version, okay? You can't download the most recent one, it won't work. You got to go to 20, Unity 2020, you got to click on this. Wow, it's taken a long time to load. Anyways, you gotta look for 2020.3.28. It's right here, and you wanna download this in Unity Hub. Uh, you should just go through the instructions. It's pretty simple. And it'll... Okay, once you've done that, you wanna open uh, this. You wanna click open, and then you gotta just look for the directory that this is. It has to be unzipped, though. So. All right, so now once you've done that, you wanna just open the project and then wait for it to load. Okay, now that Unity's opened up, uh, it's not gonna look exactly like this, okay? Because I didn't actually install the SDK because I don't want to wait like 30 minutes, so I made my own. But uh, basically, just to start off, you want to look in the assets area and you want to look for uh, the custom NPC thing, I guess. Uh, it'll be Ford because well, I didn't make this, but Swipes made it. But it was just the first NPC, NPC he made. It looks a little bit weird, but it's fine. Um, and we'll just get started on actually making it. So you want to go to a website called uh, Mixamo. You got to go to Mixamo, okay? Uh, and you got to either sign up or log in. Uh, now that you're in, you'll be in this page, all right? And I already have a Spider-Man model in here. But uh, you want to upload character right here. So um, what you want to do is get your model. I'm just going to use the Iron Man again. Uh, and if it already has a rig on it, then you can already do that. But if it doesn't, it'll show you this whole like process. So, so it'll look something like this. It'll tell you to align everything, like the knees, the elbows, the chin, the wrists, everything like that. So that's why they need to be in a T pose. Because if they're not, then it'll just completely mess up. Okay, so now you gotta wait for it to process and do all that. And um, pretty simple. And after you have it rigged. Uh, you can see uh, all your stuff and you have a bunch of things here that you can download it's not really anything to do with the tutorial but it's kind of cool I'll just use Saul Goodman okay he's a great man I love him uh, he's amazing so you want to just drag it in and make sure he has textures if he doesn't just use a different model bro or like figure out how to how to do it because I don't know I'm just pain in the ass um, so you gotta scale your your dude to uh, Mr. Arthur Ford's height over here, and it's not gonna line up perfectly automatically, so you have to uh, Line it up so it's wouldn't it doesn't take that long. You just want to look like in the skeleton and stuff and look where uh, It's messed up, so I'll just Fix it and then it'll be like a time-lapse Anyways, uh, let's go back to modeling. So uh, now for it to actually work with the NPC, uh, you're going to want to uh, look it down here. You got to go through here and then NPC. So where it says mesh right here, you want to drag in the mesh of your character. So I'm going to drag it in here and then I'm going to get rid of all these. So now forward is gone. Just saw. Um, and then now uh, you want to actually go through all the bones. So you have to do these one by one, so you can see it's not gonna if it it's not gonna be exactly the same because this is the way that hard bullet does it. Uh, but it's you just have to follow along with what this says. So when I look at pelvis, uh, there, this one's actually called pelvis, so I got lucky there. So it could be called like I don't know center, whatever, anything like that, and it'll be the pelvis. It's basically the top thing. So thigh L, thigh R, and spine. 
you can see how these these all work out so i'll first do the spine because it's probably the most tricky part so you'd want to drag the spine in put this down and then spine one there's a bunch of spines uh don't worry about it just keep on going down yeah, this one's one off so the spine two would be spine three but it doesn't matter and it also has spine four but this doesn't so you have to worry about it you want to drag the left clavicle in here and then left upper arm then the left forearm and then the hand and you don't need to do anything past the hand not uh any fingers anyway so it's fine um so now what you want to do is you want to look for the right clavicle so you'll drag the right clavicle in here then the right upper arm in here right forearm which could be lower arm but this one's lower arm it's usually forearm and you drag the hand and then you're good there so now you want to do the neck so drag the neck in here drag the head and then now you're done with the spine right so it all works out so that you can actually you just keep everything before so you, you just want to keep dragging stuff in and then it'll i'll be there for you so now i'll do thigh i'll want to just drag it in here and the left calf then the left foot uh and then that's it you don't have to worry about the toes or anything but i'll just do it anyway why not anyways uh now you're done with the left one now let's do the right one so you want to drag in right thigh right calf right foot and oh why not all right uh so now that that's all done you're you're done so you can just see this this is empty you could just delete this and now you want to actually export your npc uh so now what you want to do is you want to uh go to the f folder called bundled assets and then prefab so then you want to create a new folder and then you'll call it like uh, i don't know sol 2.0 you can call it literally anything you want uh i mean obviously so you want to go in your folder and then you want to drag this game object into that folder okay uh so now you'll see down here in the bottom right you'll see asset bundle and this is how you actually make your asset bundle you want to click new if you can't type it first that's normal so you just click off and then click back on and then now, now you can type so you click new you can call it whatever you want you can call it literally anything i'll just call it sol 2.0 uh and then you gotta click enter also won't work and then when you see when you see this here you have an option in hbm npc i think item but or i don't know i don't know how squiddy has it set up but i'll you got to do npc because it's an npc uh so now once you have all this set up, you can right click on this and then click build asset bundles and then you just wait till this all builds. If there's an error, then uh, I don't know, bro. There shouldn't be an error. You probably did something wrong. Uh, so now you just got to wait. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, you're going to want to find your folder that's called streaming assets. You want to right click on this, show and explore. Now, I'm not sure what's going to be in here. Uh, but if you have a bunch of stuff and it's not even yours, don't worry about it. You just got to look for whatever you, you named your NPC. And you can't have the manifest or the manifest meta or meta or whatever. It has to just be the NPC. It's all you need. Uh, so now you want to go to your hard bullet directory. Uh, you want to browse local files, just the way you install any mod. And then you'll go to data, custom NPCs, and then you just drag in your NPC. Uh, I guess I'll go in game. I don't feel like it, bro. It, it'll work. If it doesn't work, then just ask me about it, okay? I don't. I guess I said, bro, like, it isn't just. It, I know it's not just uh, Polonius, but that's the person I'm making the tutorial for. Um, this guy right here, but I don't know. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any issues or it just doesn't work, then, like, contact me on Discord. I'm this nerd right here. I'm not this nerd. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it.